Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, to give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you put in my heart to speak. And I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. America is Mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots and abominations. And I have said for many years that a special judgment was coming to America, Babylon. And now my dreams are coming true, and judgment is here. What other nation has been a golden cup in God's hand? What other nation sets upon many waters? What other nation has been blessed like America? And what other nation? has been made up of many peoples, nations, races, and tongues. Only America, and America, judgment comes. I had a dream. Actually, I've had several dreams involving earthquakes, tsunamis, and asteroids. Now, in my movie theater dream, I was shown a scene on the west coast where the Earth's, Earth's crust slipped, and a major portion of the north, northern, of northern California, all the way from uh, Canada to... Uh, uh, from California to Canada slipped and dove under the North American plate causing a major uplift in the ocean floor and a massive unheard of unprecedented earthquake a 9.2 and greater this massive movement of earth in the ocean floor caused an unprecedented earthquake that shook the whole west coast and the shaking lasted for what seemed like minutes a very long time for an earthquake this is not your typical earthquake. On the screen, I saw all the cities up and down the long, along the west coast from Northern Cal California to Canada shake so violently that, that no one could even stand. Everyone fell down, along with all the buildings, bridges, everything fell down. Dams burst, roads buckled like pretzels. The earth heaved and was shaken very violently, thrown up and down and from side to side. It was as if nature, the world itself, had gone insane. Roads were impassable, bridges were out, power lines were down, everywhere. And almost, almost every building was destroyed for many miles, inland, all up and down the west coast. And many people died from falling buildings. Most people seemed to be dead or dying from this massive, unprecedented earthquake. I saw many people trapped in their buildings, unable to get out. But then I saw a tsunami out in the ocean. A tsunami wave may only be 100 to 300 feet out in the ocean, but when that water comes into the shore and the, the bottom of the ocean comes up to the shoreline, that water has no place to go but up. This is called run-up by those who study tsunamis. So a 100-foot wave out in the, in the middle of the ocean can, in, can turn into a 1,000-foot wave very quickly when it comes ashore. And many people died from that. The wave I saw come ashore was a massive monster wave, hundreds of feet high. It towered above everything. And it rushed ashore without warning uh, just about 15 minutes after the earthquake. And that washed inland for 100 miles in some areas. It washed away everything that was left by the earthquake. Literally, everything west of I-5 was destroyed either from the shaking or from the tsunami. I was shown this on a movie screen I was watching so much death and destruction it was hard to even conceive and take all this in i saw this on a movie screen in a theater was this just a movie or was it real i was shown one scene then another scene and then another one scene i saw i was underwater and the next scene i was high above the earth and seeing all this and then the next scene i was shown a, a scene flying above the land seeing the destruction uh, like on a large movie screen. And because of this major earthquake going off in Washington and Oregon coast, it set off the San Andreas and several other faults in central Southern California from San Francisco down to the Mexico border. And there was much destruction from that earthquake. Though not as violent as the Cascadia earthquake and tsunami, there was much more damage due to, the, due to the number of buildings and number of people in this area. So much death and destruction I saw 
but I could not comprehend all of the death and pain and suffering and destruction, unlike anything I had ever seen before. I kept telling myself, it's only a movie, it's only a movie, but I knew this was no movie. I was being shown something very important and very prophetic. A warning for America to repent of their sins. And again, almost all of the bu large buildings were destroyed near the falls. Uh, roads were turned into pretzels, power lines were down everywhere, dams burst. It seemed as if, as if everyone is either dead or dying. And, and there was a great amount of homelessness. People just wandered aimless in the aftermath like zombies in total disbelief, unable to accept or comprehend what had just happened. There was no, no water, no food, no medical care, no rescue teams were apparent, not for more than a week. Most of the hospitals were either destroyed or out of commission. You could not use a phone to call for help as everything was down. There were many fires everywhere, but the fire trucks, most of them were stuck at the station, unable to even leave the firehouse. Fire hydrants had no water. It seemed as if all of California was on fire. The pain, the suffering, the destruction I saw was uncomprehendable. Then the scene changed and I saw the New Madrid Fault in southern Missouri rupture and this was another massive monster earthquake that ripped America into two pieces up and down the Mississippi River from the Great Lakes all the way to New Orleans. So now the Great Lakes flowed into the Gulf of Mexico and the earth shook so violently that no one could stand and everyone fell down. This New Madrid Fault ripped wide open and in some areas it was a hundred miles wide. All the bridges were out and there was no driving route from east to west as now America was cut into two continents. Every city was destroyed from Memphis to St. Louis and for many miles wide. And many cities were destroyed and then underwater. I saw more of death and destruction. I noticed a reoccurring theme that no one could, that no one could stand, everyone fell down. As if God was saying, you will not humble yourselves before me, I will humble you. I will bring you low to the very ground before me. I had another dream where I was standing on the top of a grass-covered hill and in every direction I could see homes, shopping centers, farms, barns, factories, apartments, shops, stores, shopping centers were all below me. I could see so much from the top of this hill and all of a sudden the, the whole thing began to shake very violently and every building was leveled, every, every building was burning in every direction. All I could see was total destruction. And like before, I was shaken to the ground and I could not stand. It was as if the whole world had been destroyed. But was this America or was this, or was this the world? I do not know. I do not have an insight given to me on this dream. I had another dream where I was, I was in a home on the East Coast and there was a huge picture window that was looking out over the Atlantic Ocean. And all of a sudden I heard a commotion from outside and I looked and I saw many of my neighbors running and jumping in their cars and tearing off at high speed away from the coast. I saw others not even taking the time to get in their cars. They just started running as fast as they could away from the coast. Now I thought, what was this? But then I looked out at the ocean and I saw a huge wall of water, 3,000, maybe 5,000 feet high, or maybe higher, racing toward the east coast. I grabbed my Bible. I put it against my chest. As I knew, I could not outrun this wall of water. So I chose to spend my last few seconds in prayer rather than running and screaming. I clutched my Bible to my chest, to my heart, and I prayed. I prayed hard. I prayed humble. I, I prayed in earnest as I only had seconds to live. But I, I did not pray that God saved my body, saved my life. I prayed that God saved my soul. I also saw an asteroid strike, or maybe it was the volcano at La Palma in the Canary Islands sliding into the ocean. Now, this is many square miles uh, of a volcanic mountain that can slide into the ocean. I, I don't really know just what I was shown. I had no explanation, and, and none was given. Uh, I saw what looked like a mountain on fire hit the ocean. I just knew that this was the Atlantic Ocean, and this caused a massive wall of water thousands of feet high to totally inundate the east coast of America. This tsunami went hundreds of miles inland into America at the east coast. This wall of water was several thousand feet high when it hit America. And the entire state of Florida was totally underwater for some time. 
Everything in Florida was washed away, and nothing was left. I give you Revelation 8 and 8. And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and a third part of the sea became blood. I had another dream where I saw people praying on their knees, powerful, compelling, humble, sincere prayers for God to save, not their lives, but to save their souls. I had another dream where I saw an asteroid strike in uh, western Canada near the U.S. border and many people died from that as well. Yes, bad times are coming to America and the world, but we who are washed in the blood and born again, we are not to live in fear. But if we see the end racing toward us, we will clutch our Bible or our faith in Jesus and clo close to our heart and pray humble, pray powerful, compelling prayers for God to save our souls. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9 For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 1 and 7 For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So no matter what comes our way, always remember to stand strong in the faith, put on the full armor of God, and stand in the gap. Jeremiah 51 42 The sea is come upon Babylon, she is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. America is Babylon, and Babylon is America. God bless you and yours mightily. We keep you and your family in our prayers, and we thank God. We thank God every day for sending you our way. And every one of you have been a blessing to us in this ministry. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. I want to remind you to stand strong in the faith because we are going home so very soon. Now I know people will ask me if they live in one of these areas that I mentioned that if they should move out of this area. What I will tell you to do is pray on it and be led by the Holy Spirit. But I believe that we will be raptured before all this comes about. Bad times are coming. Bad times are coming. Economic collapse is coming. And it's coming soon. All of these bad times are coming. But I pray you be washed in the blood and born again. For we will see you on the streets of gold one day very soon. We will see you there. God bless you and God keep you. Each and every one.